Welcome to Crimson Guitars. I have been building guitars on YouTube for years. Finally, I'm building a bass. This episode has been brought to you by Isotunes. They're currently doing a flash sale up until the 14th of April. You can buy one, get one free on various models, information flashing up on the screen. Uh, use the code Crimson B O G O, Crimson Bogo. That sounds like a that sounds like a bass model. Um, yeah. There we go, on with the build. Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! At this stage, the neck has yet to be carved. The fretboard has just been radius, so I need to cut the fret slots out by hand, uh, figure out the inlays, drill the headstock, carve the neck, and get it under finish. All, hopefully, by the end of today. Woohoo. Ruler. Everybody needs a center line. Forty four point seven, thirty four something. 137.4, 178, 216.6, 252.287, 319, 37.9, hold on, say this, 37, 379, 406, 40, 431.8, 431.8, 456, 478.9, 50, 52, We good? Perfect.
All right, that is my current favorite way of trouble-free, risk-free carving a neck. It is going to be that the more you take off, the smaller the facets become and the more comfortable. You could leave it like this and you could play it. I'm obviously going to sand it down a little bit, um, round over the edge next to the fretboard just a little bit, but it works. Uh, and also, my four carbon fiber stiffening rods have made a huge difference. Um, this is as strong as anything I have ever made. So, well, fun times. <sighs> now we need to meld these corners in. For that, a rasp is required. Actually, an Iwasaki rasp is required. I wonder if this fits. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a fraction too big for the pocket, so I can ease it in. We are, oh, we're a fraction too big. Well, look at that, everybody. Hey, I can go home. I, I, I built a base. I am so happy. Okay, so at this stage, I have cut the fret slots. I have carved the neck. I spent ages fitting the neck to the body. And uh, uh, I do not need, I do not need to fill the fretboard. I don't need to flood it with resin. I don't need to do any of that um, per se. I suspect, however, that there's a couple of places here, there's some fairly big knots uh, where I'm gonna do exactly that. So essentially I'm gonna flood it with, um, I'm gonna put some dust in there and I'm gonna put some super glue in there and uh, go from there. And then we've got some drilling and a whole hell of a lot of sanding to do. 
Yippee. Mm. We're back. This is, uh, this, this has been settling for a weekend and I am currently, I am currently cacking myself because while I was away over the weekend, this neck, you can probably see it there, has moved in spite, in spite of the four carbon fiber stiffening rods. We have got about a mill and a half there. Well, let's say if it's, if it's angled back there, we've got, let's go in fair ill and say one eighth of an inch. So three, three millimeter or more back bow at the nut. Now you can hear the truss rod uh, currently has nothing going on whatsoever. I am seriously hoping that I can fix this. If not, well, there's always a way. There's always a way. Um, but yeah, I took a load of material off the back of the neck and she moved. Let us gain access to the truss rod. Let us gain access to the truss rod. Engaging coffee power. There. Inside ground gouge. All right, all right, we're there, we're there. Whew. That was scary. We're good. This could go from, from joy to utter pain. I'm gonna get a close up. I'm not liking the sound of this. All right, we've got it. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So I have been worried. I have been worried that the carbon fiber 
the sheer expanse of carbon fiber under there was going to compromise the glue joint somehow. Um, I don't think that is the case. I was hearing a little bit of cracking and, and noise with the movement. The fretboard is solid and is stable and is on there. Um, but uh, yeah, essentially I, I heard the glue cracking um, probably off the top of the, the truss rod because this is one of the first builds ever where I haven't bothered masking off the truss rod because while it's something I do every time, I don't think it's necessary. That was a little bit scary though. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this and want to see more, please click like and subscribe and do not forget to push that notification bell. It means that you will actually see what you want to see, which I hope is more of what I do. That sounded a little bit egotistic. Anyway, click those buttons, everybody. See you later.